if we're going to be on the same page and understand what we're talking about in here, we need to talk a little bit about the anatomy of a spreadsheet. So the vocabulary that I use when describing it can make some sense. First thing is the actual document that we're in in Google Sheets is just called a spreadsheet and Microsoft Excel is called a workbook. And a spreadsheet can consist of more than one page, each of which has a tab down here at the bottom. In Excel, these are called worksheets, and in Google Sheets, they're just called sheets. And that's where you actually do your work. Now, each sheet consists of a number of columns, vertical columns, that have letters to indicate what column you're in. This is column D right here. And they have rows that are numbered row number one, row number two. And what that means is that at the intersection of each column and each row is a cell. So right here, I've got one cell, that's one box, one data container within a Google Sheet that can put something in it. And it has an address. This is cell B2. So you always give the column name letter first, that's B in this case, and the row number second, B2. This here is C3. This right here is B6. This is A4. And so that's the address. You have cells that make a spreadsheet that are arranged in vertical columns and horizontal rows. Now, there's a lot of other things you can do here. One thing is I showed you, you can have multiple tabs, and those allow you to have different kinds of information or arrange things in different ways on each one. Each tab also has a little drop down arrow right next to it that allows you to do things like duplicate the tab or change the color of the tab. There we go. Now we've got a little bit of color right there. I'm going to turn that off actually. Or to see a list of all the tabs, that's good if you've got a lot of them, or to add a new tab, add a sheet. And then when you come up to the top of the spreadsheet, now a lot of times the first row is for the names of the columns, the variable names. And you might want that to stay where it is so if you scroll up it doesn't disappear. You can do that by freezing a row or you can also freeze columns. And that means that they will stay there. Now there's a few different ways to do that. One of them is to come up here to view and hit freeze and say the first row or the first two rows or wherever I am right now and columns. I personally find it easier to come over here and get this little thick line right here. And when it turns into a hand, you just click on that and drag it down. And now the thick lines right here. And you can see that when I scroll up and down, that first row will stay put. You can do the same thing with columns. If you want, for instance, this one to always show column A, just come over here until you are, have a little hand and then drag it over. And now column A will always show. And that's called freezing rows and columns. And it's a way of making it easier to navigate your spreadsheet. Also, when you come up to the top here, you'll find that you have a little drop down menu that shows up in each of these, including the ability to sort an entire sheet by values in a column. So I can click this and now it sorts the entire sheet by this column right here. If I want to get back to where I was, I could either do undo, or I could just come and sort by a different variable. I sort by ID, sort from ascending values from A to Z. You can also sort descending, that's from Z to A. You also have a number of toolbars up here. Those are familiar with any other program you've been using. There is one special function I do want to draw to your attention, and that is way down here in the bottom corner, we have something that's sometimes called the quick sum box. And what it is, let me highlight a few numbers here. I've highlighted some numbers, and now when I come down here, you'll see it gives me the sum. I actually use this a lot. If I'm putting in dollars, I'm putting in values, I can get an immediate sum by just dragging over a few numbers and getting their total. You can also click on it and see a whole lot of other things, the average, the minimum, maximum, the count, the number of scores, and the number of numbers. There's only numbers here, so we're fine. But that's a way to get immediate information without even having to write a formula. So the important thing is a spreadsheet consists of individual sheets or pages, each of which has cells that are arranged into vertical columns, which are named with letters, and horizontal rows, which are named with numbers. 
And as we go through the other videos in this course, you'll see there's a huge number of things you can do within each document in Google Sheets.